my channel for the love of glitter. Today I'm doing a first impressions on the Anastasia Beverly Hills subculture palette. I do have it on my eyes today so I did use it so I can kind of get a feel for how the shadows perform. I also did swatches. You get 14 shadows in this palette as well as a brush. Never owned an Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow palette before. I own one glow kit and that's it. So it's almost like I'm slowly kind of diving into the brand. Um, something about this one just really interested me. It's so unique. Nowadays, everyone's about the warm tones, which is fine. I'm not bashing the warm tones whatsoever. I bought the Naked Heat palette. But everyone's so about the warm tones, but there's just so many warm tones out there that you don't need every single warm tone palette. So this was kind of refreshing to see. So here is what it came. It's in a box and it has lots of these things. So I think that Anastasia Beverly Hills did a good job at packaging it. It also had some bubble wrap around the actual palette. Here's the box it comes in, it matches the inside of the palette, and here is the palette itself. It feels so heavy compared to my other palettes, it's unbelievable. Now this is like a dark teal and it is velvet, which some people might love and some people might hate. Um, it makes my hands feel sweaty, <laughs> so I don't know how much I love it, but I do like the color of the packaging. You open it up and there are the beautiful, beautiful shadows. I love the shadow arrangement. This palette is just so pretty. I don't even want to dip my fingers in it because it's just so pretty. I don't even want to really swatch it. So here we go. Here we go. First shade is Q. That feels pretty nice. This one. Um, could be a little deceiving to some. It looks white in the pan, but it is a duochrome, and it has a pink shift. This is Dawn. This is like a light tan color, so this will be great for um, crease shade. They all feel very soft so far. Here is Destiny. Ooh, that one feels really soft too. That's a pretty green. Here is the Foiled Shadow in Adorn. And there's the first few shades. So they all felt really good. We'll see how they swatch. As you can see, Cube um, would probably need to be wet on a damp brush, but the mattes performed great and so did the foil. It's just, it looks skinny because it was with my pinky finger. But Cube was probably just the least good performing one. The rest of them felt great and they look really good. Very pigmented. I'm going to All Star. This one feels okay but it doesn't feel as soft as the other ones mercury is like a taupe color that one feels good axis is this teal green that one feels a little bit i find that colors like all star and axis normally kind of have like that chunky texture gritty feel uh oh look how much fallout from destiny into fudge there is and here is roxy so you might want to be a little more careful than i was being Roxy is kind of like a peachy coral. So there's All Star and the rest of them. These swatches are not built up from what you saw me do. Most of them perform pretty well. This one looks a tiny bit patchy in this one as well. The next shade we have is Electric, which is another duochrome. This is like a green shifty kind of color. Then is Fudge. I think Fudge is a color they have already had in their collection. Do you see the teal has stained my fingers and I did wash it off. Here is New Wave. This is like a mustard yellow. And here is a more foresty green called Untamed. All of those ones felt really nice. Let's see what they look like. I felt like all four of them swatched pretty perfectly. I was impressed with Electric more than I was Cube. I feel like it felt nicer and swatched better. Fudge swatched great. Um, this orange, it looks a little patchy, but it, it swatched fine. And this color swatched perfectly, um, and that is Untamed. Last two shades we have is this yellow color Edge and Rowdy, this eggplant purple. This one feels good. 
So does Rowdy. So Edge, that yellow color swatched really nicely. Rowdy, I feel like swatched kind of patchy, but I don't know if it's because it's on my hand, so I think I might flip my hand over and do that one one more time just so we can kind of see. See, on this side of my hand, I think it swatched pretty darn good. Blend it out. Yeah, that's a much better swatch, but... Here are some messy swatches of all the shades. Very interesting layout. This palette to me is not for someone who just wears neutral tones every single day. Yes, there are some ways you can get away with using this palette as a neutral tone palette. You have Dawn, which is great for the crease. You have Fudge, which you know is a great darkening color. Um, you could even say New Wave. This mustardy yellow is good for blending in the crease as well. Even Roxy, Mercury is a taupe color. You get quite a bit of neutral shades, but to me, if you're really just looking for a neutral, you might as well go with like a Naked palette or one of the other trillion billion neutral palettes that are out there. Um, this to me is for someone who really wants something unique because that's all I can think of about this palette is unique. I used only this brush today that it came with and even when I just tapped it in there a ton of product would come out. Um, but the mattes blended really flawlessly, so I'm wondering if it's kind of like give and take, like if you want your mattes to be really pigmented and blend flawlessly, then they're going to have a lot of fallout. Uh, but this is probably the most fallout I have ever seen in, in any eyeshadow palette in my life. Like, I was actually really surprised. Like, I kept hearing, like, there's a lot of fallout. There is. Like, there's a lot of, you know, kick up. A lot of kick up when you put it on. Um, as I was watching it, the only shade that I found to be disappointing was Cube, just because with one swat, with one swipe it wasn't really pigmented, but this is kind of more of an iridescent shade, so I don't really expect it to be pigmented. I expect to use it as either an inner corner highlight or uh, some type of shadow topper, so I wasn't really expecting it to be like this amazing pigmented shadow. I felt like Electric was pretty good. I feel like those two shades you would want to use wet. I used uh, Electric wet today and it worked much better. It is almost like it has tiny, tiny flecks of glitter in there, so if you even wanted to use like a glitter pigment, that might even be better. Um, but for the most part, I found that all these shadows were just really good and they worked really nicely. Um, yeah, so let me know what your thoughts are and thank you guys for watching and you all have a great day. Bye.